Good afternoon. This is Rich Nelson with Allendale. Let's cover the wrap-up comments. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, 2011. One day away from the big report. Aren't you guys excited here? Uh, in terms of today's action, down 10 cents for corn. This is the lowest close for corn since March 17th. So it actually has had some pretty good declines here in recent days. And, of course, most of those are based on the acreage numbers that the trade came up with. Uh, we're uh, The trade is kind of surprised that uh, most analysts say Corn acres will only be slightly under USDA. Remember back in February, USDA said 92.0. The average trade grass for corn says 91.8. So a little surprise there. And, of course, uh, we all know what happened last year with these quarterly grain stock updates from USDA. In the past three quarters, the past uh, since March through September, USDA threw all those crazy numbers at us. So the trade is a little concerned about grain stocks as well for corn. Uh, with average usage numbers expected for feed and ethanol and, and the other industrial and also exports, uh, the average trade says we're going to have 6.690 billion bushels of corn stocks. So we have about 13 to 14 to start the year off with in, in September, and we use those throughout the year. This latest quarterly update is going to say 6.690. Anything other than that says, you know what, USDA is going to have a crazy a crazy year for again on all these quarterly grain stocks numbers. So that's what we're looking at as far as that goes. Also a little bearish day, we, we can point out uh, China officials are in Argentina trying to look at their corn again, trying to look at imports. So they've got some restrictions that they've got to approve, or, or, or uh, I said they have some restrictions against Argentine corn they need to uh, take off before anything gets done. But the point is, they are in Argentina looking for corn, not in the U.S. right now. For soybeans, up 10 cents today. Where corn's had some rough uh, past few days, beans have done well. This is the highest close on May beans since March 8th. Uh, interesting to see, uh, compared to USDA, the trade thinks we will have a good drop in uh, in soybean acreage. Uh, USDA was at 78.0. The average trade guess says 76.9 million acres, so a full 1.1 below USDA. Uh, if we have some problems with uh, already figuring some problems with uh, with usage in soybeans, which we all know about and we have had for quite a few months here, certainly on the domestic side with soybean crush. And we've talked about that many times before. We're going to have some uh, a number of 1.299 billion bushels for the quarterly grain stocks. Once again, that's 1.299. Over on wheat, down 11.5 cents. Just like corn, we've got some, uh, got some lower price in the past few days. Uh, as far as the main news for today on the wheat, uh, Japan came out with a new crop wheat import estimate, and they said it's actually going to drop 5%. So not only are they saying, wow, we're not going to panic about tsunami-based buying and, and uh, up our estimate from, from 2010, 11 years, we're actually going to drop it. So that was a little surprise. Keep in mind their new crop year starts on April. It runs from April through March. So this 5% drop in wheat imports is actually right up ahead here. So that's a little surprising there. Uh, the official who made the statement, he did make a clarifying point that, you know what, this is at this point it's too early in the tsunami-based information to actually make any changes based on the tsunami itself. So this 5% drop could be changed. But keep in mind, from the trade's viewpoint, it is certainly a little disappointing. For the report tomorrow on the acreage, USDA said 57.0 back in February. The average trade guess says a little higher, 57.3. And uh, quarterly grain stocks, 1.399 billion bushels. Now let's get to the exciting uh, market mover of today. Certainly that's cattle, of all things here. Uh, the trade was expecting a, a good jump in cash cattle uh, today, up to 118. It actually jumped higher than that, 120 and 121 active sales throughout the plains. Very exciting numbers. These are contract highs for futures and the highest trade ever for cash cattle. So quite an exciting thing here. And it's certainly not hard to see why. We do have a tight supply. We've had a very, the tightest supply of the year runs from mid-March through the first week of April. This is the key time right now. And with all the Japan talk, uh, certainly that's certain, done nothing but help that situation. Uh, we can point out Japan, uh, since the, uh, the confirmation of Japan buying U.S. beef, which was on Thursday morning, we've rallied $5.70 on the June contract. Quite a great deal here. So right now we're still in the tight supply period. We're going to have high prices this week, and they'll last a little higher going into Thursday and Friday as well before we turn our focus to a little building supply period by the uh, running into next week here. Over on the hogs, 
down uh, April, uh, down three uh, three bucks the limit at one point today. <coughs> Excuse me. Down April, uh, down three dollars at one point today, but it rebounded to only close down five cents on the April contract. So certainly quite a quite a rebound from those lows today. Uh, news wires are saying some fun selling things like that, profit taking before the quarter ended. But at this point, it just looks like for whatever reason, we had no business to be down three dollars here for today's action. Uh, of interest, Smithfield said no slowdown in pork sales to Japan, and Tyson has also said for right now uh, they figure on equal or slightly higher gains for pork to uh, Japan as well. So certainly good news for the big picture on this on that point. Overall, though, big report tomorrow, 7:30. Paul George, Paul George will be sitting in this driver's seat uh, doing a YouTube update tomorrow after that 7:30 report. Keep on top of Allendale's YouTube updates. Uh, also, Allendale's uh, subscription services to our research will have all kinds of great information based on this report. And if you're, uh, certainly, if you guys who don't have an account yet with Allendale, call in, talk to one of our available brokers, and get that account opened up. We're going to have some great information on prices, how to market, and how to trade in this new market, which, of course, starts tomorrow morning. Everything up to this point is all just uh, hearsay and guesses. From t tomorrow on, we have a whole brand new market. Look forward to working with you guys and talking about it all starting at 7.30 here. This is Rich Nelson. Have a good trading day and a good trading week.